Today, I've got some key expressions to make you sound fluent in English. What we are looking at are those moments when you introduce yourself, when you want to show surprise or agreement, and at those times when you are interacting with other people. Now, if you've ever learned a foreign language, you'll know that it's the small reflex words that are sometimes the most difficult even for advanced speakers and it can make the difference between sounding like a robot who's learned English from a book and a native English speaker. So use these phrases in order to speak fluent British English right now and if you want to know more then stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk, the channel that goes deeper into everything about the English language. So the story is that some time ago I got this call from a guy who was some kind of businessman and he wanted to come to our language school in Paris for some intensive private English lessons in order to prepare himself for a business trip to London. However, he was a complete beginner and he said to me, can you teach me English in one week? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. But I thought maybe I could do something. I could teach him some expressions, some small talk, some key phrases. Anyway, the whole process got me thinking. What would you teach somebody who only had one week to learn English? What about one day? What about one hour? What about 10 minutes? And this idea captured my imagination. And this video is the result. So the challenge is to sound like a native speaker of British English right now with just a few key phrases and expressions. Of course, teaching someone to give a lecture on quantum physics will take more time. But a few good phrases can make a big difference. Now, the phrases I've chosen are useful if you have a low level of English or if you are advanced because I've divided it into six categories and in each category there'll be something for everybody. Some common phrases and some more formal terms or some slang expressions, okay? And we've also got a bonus tip for you at the end, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get straight into it with some greetings. Hi. Hello. Hope you know those words. If you want to be more formal, say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The reply is, nice to meet you too. Now, if you want to be a bit more informal, you could say, how are you doing? How are you doing? Notice the use of the weak forms. How are you doing? Okay, how are you doing? And the reply is, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. How's it going? How's it going? And the response is, it's going fine. How's it going? So the response is, it's going fine. Now, how about something much more informal? I'm from London. And you might say, if you're in London, all right, all right. All right is a shortened form of are you all right okay and you just use the word all right and even that shortened to all right and notice the glottal stop at the end which means that you don't finish pronouncing the t instead you make the sound from your throat okay so you say all right and the reply is the same all right now Secondly, when somebody is speaking to you, you need to show agreement or at least acknowledge that you are listening, okay? Firstly, you could use really. Star Wars was so boring that I fell asleep. Really, okay? You can also use right. They didn't have any donuts, so I bought a blueberry muffin. Right. I'm thinking of getting a haircut this afternoon. Right. 
If you want to be more formal, use I see. I can't come to the meeting because I missed the train. I see. Okay, you could also use is that so? I've been living in this apartment for 10 years and I still don't know the neighbours. Is that so? My father is 68 years old. Is that so? Next, you're going to need an expression that expresses surprise. And for that, you could use no way. Just like that. No way. For example, you know that painting I bought for £9.99 at the flea market that everybody says was a fake? I just sold it for a hundred million pounds. No way! When the car broke down, they made us ride a donkey into town. No way! You can also use, you're kidding. I've been married 12 times. You're kidding. She threw me out of the house when she found out I was a Sagittarius. You're kidding. You could also use, you're joking. You're unwanted by Scotland Yard. You're joking. Okay, to say that you are leaving, use one of the following expressions. I'm off. I'm off. I'm late. I'm off. Or you could say, I'm heading off. I'm heading off now. Got to meet someone. I'm heading off. I've got to go. Listen to the pronunciation. I've got to go. The meeting starts soon. I've got to go. Well, I'm going now. I've got to catch my train. I'm going now. Next, you want to show gratitude. And of course, you could say thank you or thanks. If you want to be more informal, in British English, just say cheers. Here's your matcha latte. Cheers. You can share my umbrella. No, oh, cheers. You can also say ta. Here's an insignificant piece of paper. Oh, ta. So to say goodbye, say goodbye. Ta ra. Cheerio. You can say farewell. Actually, not many people say farewell these days. It's, it's a bit old fashioned, but it's not incorrect. And sometimes it's nice to be playful with the language and be a bit different. So by all means, you can say that farewell. And if you want to sound like you're from the 19th century, you could say fare thee well. So I'm now joined by my uh, uh, assistant. This is Google Mini Home. Hey Google, goodbye. Cheerio. Hey Google, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen, that's goodbye in German. Hey Google, goodbye. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. You see what I mean? But you know, I've been in a relationship two months right. and she says that she thinks I'm boring. Right. My conversation's boring right. and we've got nothing in common. And then right. she says that she was in Cafe Nero the other day right. and she was chatting to this barista right. while ordering her grande latte. And right. it was very nice. It was from Bratislava and very interesting right. and tall and handsome. And no she way. said to me, would, would I no mind if I go out with him at the same time of going no out way. with her? I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, you can no only way. go out with one guy at the same time. I mean, it stands to reason. What do you think? I'm off. Cheers. Bye. Okay, here's that bonus tip I promised you. If you want to ask someone if they will do something with you, just use the word fancy plus a noun or a verb with ing, okay? For example, fancy a coffee? What that means is, do you fancy a coffee? But usually most native English speakers will leave out the do you and just use the word fancy, okay? Fancy getting some sushi? 
Fancy going to the cinema? Fancy a weekend in Kuala Lumpur? Okay. Well, there you are. I hope you found that useful. I'm sure I've forgotten something. But if you know of any key phrases and expressions that I have forgotten, that's okay. You can leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Stay mellow and I'll see you next time. Hey Google, goodbye. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now. Hey Google, see you later alligator. In a while crocodile. Hey Google, bye-bye. Sorry, I don't understand.